be more than human. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Joseph Carroll. I write under the pen name J.R. Carroll. And today we're coming back to Cradle. And specifically, Ghost Water, book five of the Cradle series. Um, so if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I started Cradle a few months back. And this is the, you know, some months I get one in, if I have any extra time, it goes into another cradle book. And that has happened again this month, as I am already through my second book um, in the cradle series. And it's one of those books where, you know, especially now, after this book, I mean, it's, it, there's such a draw for me to just keep going, um, you know, uh, Will White just he, he knows what he's doing. He knows this he knows this type of story so well and Now I mean I've heard that this was the book where it's like oh you're, you're gonna be sucked in I mean I was already sucked in as you all know but uh, You know this one really just just accelerates um, It's I mean almost you know you learn a, You know a lot of stuff here but really, this is like, this is like, all right, Lyndon, let's let's full steam ahead. Let's everybody power up. Um, it, you know, there he has these ebbs and flows in the in, in the books where it's like, all right, well, let's just do do a little little tick up, and then there's other ones where it's like, and this is one of them. Um, you know, we have so much uh, stuff kind of going on, it, you know, with it. Uh, <laughs> You have, uh, you know, the Dread God, you know, is awakening, and um, then we have uh, Yaren, who is recovering from, you know, her, you know, her blood spawn, you know, blood shadow um, that kind of took took over, and so they're they're having her, you know, recover, and um, as the book, you know, Ghostwater is. It's basically like this um, this pocket world where you know they um, they keep like, treasures and, th and these really crazy um, expensive you know because everything has like a price or it's like oh the scales are so expensive um, but like this is like top end like people people literally kill for the kind of stuff that they find. Um, you know, inside ghost water. Um, but, you know, Mercy has is still coming along and we're starting to find out what type of powers she has. Um, it was kind of mysterious in the last book where, um, you know, we've seen her do some things and it, there was always this creep of, was well, she's probably really powerful. She's probably more powerful uh, than she seems, and her powers are really interesting. Um, you know, you know, she has the, this bow that's kind of sentient, kind of alive, or we're not sure. Um, but she has this power where, like, where it's like she has a book, and like she reads, like you know, she has like spells and stuff, and. She's actually, even though she was, I want to say she's just a high, a high gold, she was able to deflect a Underlord's, uh, you know, power strike or beam or, you know, with this, um, creating this, uh, oh, like a, like a crystal, I think they said like a, some kind of amethyst colored crystal that went all the way over her arm, but like it blew it blew around and burned up most of her entire body, but it was able to stop it enough. I mean, so Will's getting, Will is getting very creative in how he is, um, you know, starting to show different types of, you know, powers. Because at the beginning of the book, you really only seen a cu couple, two or three different, you know, styles or, you know, um, power you know, ranges, even though the power levels were so low, um, in Sacred Valley. But, uh, 
you know, you get to see cool stuff like, uh, you know, there, there's like these different like ponds or puddles or water, uh, they have spirit water, dream water, um, life water. And so we get to see Orthos drink some life water and like de-age like a hundred years and he's like doing backflips and you know uh going out and attacking all these things he normally wouldn't he's you know he's like ah, i can't believe how good i feel i'm all back to being a real dragon which you know orthos is uh is is amazing he's one of the best characters he's, you know so so funny um and then you got we meet a new character uh which is like dross he's like a spirit um and he's like a, he reminds me of Bob the Skull from the Dresden Files or Skippy the Magnificent from Expeditionary Force. Um, if he continues on, he's going to be up in my top character lists of all time. Uh, the guy, he's snarky, um, uh, talks about how intelligent he is, uh, you know, but, you know, he's able to do like little tricks and stuff and goes within, you know, and he's like a tool. You know, it becomes like a tool, one of those things like, it's, you know, kind of a plot device thing. But Will does it great just, you know, just like Jim, you know, Jim does and uh, Craig Allison does. But, um, you know, we, you know, we're, you know, Ethan, we don't, Ethan's not too much um, in the book. Um, you know, we do get to see um, Ethan do some cool tricks and show off some of his real power, um, you know, inside inside the book, and we're getting to learn a lot uh, more about what pure Madra can do. Uh, but he's trying to join the Sky Swarm um, because he's telling every, you know, he's basically telling them that you know he thinks Yaren and Linden can become Underlords um, with his help. Uh, and so there, yeah, you know, people have kind of agreed to it, but like, you know, you know, Ethan's kind of getting under a lot of the upper crust's skin, even more so than he normally does. But Ethan remains one of the best characters. Um, you know, this whole, you know, a lot of this book is kind of like, a, you know, some people say a training montage. Um, and, you know, everybody's powering up. You know, Orthos gets younger, which is you know, going to make him more powerful. Um, you know, and now Yaren and Linden are true gold together. And when they, 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 for most of the book, they're apart. They get separated, uh, going into Ghostwater. And then when they get back together, it's, uh, you know, they, you know, they hug and they don't want to let go. And there's always this like weird, you know, there's always been this weird thing. Like, uh, do, do they like each other? Do they not like each other? Um, but now they're both like kind of like proud like oh we're on the same level now like Lyndon's finally caught up uh, but I can't wait to continue uh, this is one of the best ongoing series in all of fantasy and I let me know are you guys this far what do you think of Cradle what do you think of Ghostwater uh, hit it up in the comments make sure you're subscribed if you aren't why wouldn't you it's a great channel and I'll see you in the next one.